Hello everyone and welcome to Plesia Flower Channel. Today we're going to create together in a vase filled with water using chicken wire technique, uh, a beautiful flower arrangement for home or uh, to send to a friend. Uh, I thought it would be um, quite fitting for the season, for fall season, to use these colors. So let's do them together. Um, the first thing you need to have is some chicken wire. So cut a piece and bunch it together. Like literally, I just bunched it like this together, as you can see, like this, like a ball and just fit it inside the mouth. It's quite moldable, so very easy to do this. In order to secure it, you uh, need a little bit of florist tape and uh, secure it onto your vase. So I'm gonna do that. Another one here. And that should do the job. But what this does, it helps you um, contain the stems and mold them to the shape and the way you want it to go. We're going to start with our uh, foliage. I love, this is a, a variety of eucalyptus, which I love very much. So let's start with that. Now my vase is full of water. Uh, make sure that whenever you're putting uh, any kind of foliage or any kind of flowers in your vase that the bottom leaves are removed because that creates bacteria so we don't want any leaves at the end so there that's one that's two this one is a little bit big, so I'm not going to use it. Always pay attention which side you want it to be the front of your vase and which side you want it to be the back. If where you're going to place your vase is going to be viewed from uh, all around, then you have to make sure your arrangement is nice from all sides. But if it's going to be against the wall, then it's no problem. So let's see what we can make. I'd like to use these really beautiful dark hydrangeas during the winter, fall and winter seasons. Um, the whites and the soft pinks, I really like them as well, but uh, maybe for spring, uh, spring and summer. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then a tall one. I love using these fall colors, um, kind of neutrals and oranges. The chicken wire helps hold them in place the way I want them. And this one on this side. One more, a bit taller. Mm -hmm. And the fuego I quite like. Let me see how it looks. Um, maybe that's just too many combinations. I'm going to stick to the Protea because I think that's very, very um, long lasting and also beautiful. And one more Protea here. Yeah. So, so far. This arrangement is going to be put against the wall, so I don't need to fuss with the back too much. I will obviously fill it up uh, with more uh, leaves but all my beautiful focal uh, blooms I would like to put them where we can see them in the front so in the back we fill it up with beautiful greenery 
so eucalyptus is amazing just make sure that you remove the leaves that are going to touch water okay so you see the back it's against the wall so we don't uh, we don't need to add focal flowers orange berries which are really really nice for the holiday season so pretty now I could put all of them together sometimes I like cutting them in pieces but I think in this case I like them kind of with movement now you see the story of the orange here with Protea has been brought back here on this side with a different uh, species of flowers uh, but the same color these black bits that you see it's when the berries open they're black inside which is really cute okay now another thing that's very sweet is the hot chili pepper because I think they just add a little fun factor and then of course we're going to add our beautiful um, eyelet. So this Ilex I will show you as you can see is massive obviously we're not going to use this entire thing the way it is but what I will do is to cut the branches from the bottom and use them in between my arrangements that gives it a little fun touch so let's see always like things to be falling a little bit we can add some of it in the back just for interest and to bring the stories everywhere so that if you ever want to move the arrangement somewhere where the back is also shown it will have some interesting uh, points You see the chicken wire allows me to hold all the stems wherever I want to put them which is really really nice um, mechanics very sweet I'm gonna show you the finished product soon and here we are our finished product with a beautiful beautiful vase that we have a non-transparent vase so that we can use the chicken wire technique uh, you can purchase the flowers from your local florist or at a supermarket and a grocery store flowers will be just fine create something beautiful for your home or maybe as a gift for a friend or family if you enjoyed today's video please give us a thumbs up thank you so much for watching please consider subscribing and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.